2023 was a busy year for the actor Lambert Wilson at Locarno Film Festival. Not only did he debut the comedy Five Actaires, directed by Emily Deleuze, but he was also the president of the jury awarding the Pardo d'Oro, the Golden Leopard, Locarno's highest honor. Lambert, thank you very much for sitting down with us. Well, it's a pleasure. So happy to be here. Good. While it's it's miserable in the rest of Europe. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, I mean, that's very true. Um, So look, you know, I know you're on the the jury here at Locarno, but I want to talk about five hectares. I'm not in the jury. I'm the president of the jury. Sorry, I apologize, Mr. President. Monsieur President, I apologize. Uh, (laughs) uh, But I want to talk about five hectares as well. Yes, Um, definitely. I think... I think it's a really good film. I think it's it is Thanks, funny great. and it's thoughtful. I think your performance at the center of it is is great and really subtle and uh, kind of universal in some ways. But um, you know, ultimately, it's it's about a, a man who's whose urge to be independent ends up kind of being defined by a a mission to defy both mechanics and nature by driving a tractor uh, across country. Do you see him as a heroic figure or as, a, as, a, as an old man shaking a fist at clouds? I think the director, Emile Deleuze, would probably consider him a, a fool more than anything. Um, she said to me at the beginning when we met um, that the film was about the obsessiveness of men when they acquire land, that men, as opposed to women, become completely possessed um, and, and, and obsessive and ridiculous. I must say that I found the same thing myself. You know, you become, obs- you become obsessive about the, the borders of your little empire, you know, and you start hating your neighbors or you start being threatened. You feel threatened by it. You see that tree coming over your face. Yeah, yes, exactly. And, you, uh, and then also that men are obsessed not only with, with uh, the land, but also like little boys with the objects that are connected to the use of the land, i.e. things to plow the land or to uh, travel, the, the, to go across the land with the so tractors and, and uh, SUVs and, uh, and then you can extend it to uh, um, firework um, trucks and things like, you know, they're like little boys, they become obsessed by machines. Mm. I thought, oh, this is interesting. This is an interesting subject because I felt very connected to, to those feelings. I have a land, I, I have a tractor. You I have, have a tractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a, and then it is about the preconceived idea that city people have of uh, what it is to be a farmer. Mm-hmm. And particularly in France, you know, there is a, uh, there's a lot of uh, f- farmer bashing. So with with uh, COVID, a lot of um, city people in France went to the countryside and they decided that this was going to be a, the great solution. And they had to adapt. In fact, a lot of them have left again. The same thing happened in England. Yes. Um, and so um, basically it's the story of a change of life. It's a change of paradigm. Um, He starts with a very intellectual mind. He's a scientist. He has principles about, you know, what he can bear or not from his neighbor farmer. And then he embarks on this Don Quixote type initiation journey. And and, and then his life is going to change because he, in his flesh, mm. he's going to start living what they live, living nature. Um, he's, he's going to be completely shaken both by the tractor, but also by his encounters. And he's not the same man at the end of the film which I find that is, that's always a very good journey mm. for any character. You know, and we're watching so many films uh, as members of the jury. Uh, I, I, I always love it when the character is not the same at the end of the film, you know, otherwise it's boring. So um, this is, this is um, what we concentrated on. Uh, it is a portrait of uh, a, a society, a modern society problem, at least in France, but it is a universal portrait of a man whose life changes simply because he um, puts himself off balance mm. for a silly reason, acquiring an object. I think I think it's interesting that the the great offense he takes is to be called a tourist, as though to as though to suggest that you that suggest that he doesn't have the innate right to be anywhere he wants to be 
is in some way a blow on his soul, you know? And it is an assault in the sense that in the countryside, and I have many friends who have been in villages in, in France, in, in the Bourgogne area, let's say, they have been there for more than 40 years and they are still considered foreigners. And uh, although they have, in a way, plowed the land and they have it completely integrated, um, it's, 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 a, it's an insult that you, you never recover from. You want to belong. Mm. Uh, and uh, the, 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 the farming community is always, uh, is always very suspicious. You never belong in a way, even if you've been there or almost for generations, if you do not come from, from the roots, from the land. And um, it puts you in a position of weakness. You, you want to, um, he, wa he wants to, he, he wants to be called a farmer because for him intellectually, um, he wants the same status as his enemy, i.e. the farmer. So he thinks it's going to be um, possible by the acquisition of the tractor, the symbol uh, uh, of that status. But um, it's a, it's a full on war for him. He, he, if he, if he's still called a tourist, he, he has failed. Mm -hmm. And it's only at the end when he's getting completely drunk with his enemy, the farmer, uh, that they bond and, uh, and they will be, uh, meeting on an, on equal grounds. I, 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 I love that their relationship is kind of formed over booze because it feels like a transition from a, a seven year old to a 14 year old. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, they're still kids. And what's interesting in the film, okay, it's written by three women. It's directed by Emily, a woman. And all the characters of the women in the film look at the men with a sort of amusement. They're bemused. They, mm -hmm. they, they think men, and they're right to, be, to, to react that way, they think that men are foolishly obs obsessive. Um, and they are like kids. I mean, there is a depressed man who, who creates this wonderful uh, riding school that he never opens. And he has three tractors and he doesn't sell them. And, and he's completely stuck because he is like a child. He hasn't sold something. And uh, I think it's really a film about men and women. All the women look at the men uh, with a form of b bewilderment mm. uh, and and... It is a film written by, by, by women. In fact, one of the writers um, is married to the character that was the inspiration of the story. <laughs> now, I Did, won't tell you whom. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have a tractor? He, is a, he has a neighbor. He has a tractor. He has everything. He has, <laughs> his war is my character's war. Yeah. I had a very strange experience while watching it because when you sit down to watch a French film, about tractors, you don't expect to suddenly hear Bobby Gillespie. I'm uh, glad you you, <laughs> you recognize him and his uh, music. Oh, instantaneously. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the the oddity and the talent of, of somebody like Emilie Deleuze. She's, you know, she she has that imagination to put things together. And um, the, the joy for us, for me uh, as a performer, was the fact that uh, uh, Bobby delivered some music immediately um, uh, just before we were shooting. And so therefore, uh, I actually uh, sang to his music that was um, made for the film. And I danced um, in, great the, in the woods. I did too short. I danced so much. I couldn't walk for five <laughs> days after that dance. She only kept so little of it. I just thought, oh, come on, be braver. Yeah, you know, this was a, for me, it was like a sort of, a, you know, like the rite of spring. You know, yeah. I was in the water, in the river, in the mud. You know, it's, it's just, I, I almost had a heart attack when I did that scene. Uh, and uh, she just kept, she, she, I thought she wasn't brave enough. She should have because that's also the subject of the film. Like in any um, d tr transcendental journey, mm. you go through a period of complete madness, which is something that you see in medieval uh, stories like Sir Percival goes through a form of madness before he you know, can ask, you know, to, to whom do we serve the grail? The, uh, all the knights of the uh, round table go through a phase of complete madness. He has his uh, nature... Madness. Rebirth, yeah. Yes, and uh, it was it was great 
to, 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 to live these things. You know, it's the first time that I'm a co-producer for films. I really completely uh, 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 invested or, you know, shared, well, I wasn't paid. And, uh, you know, as, as, as movie actors and, uh, you know, we're always a little um, fussy about our comfort. And, uh, you know, <laughs> and it's not because it was my money. It's just that I was living an extraordinary experience. I, I, I didn't need anything. I didn't need any comfort. I, you know, I, I was on my tractor. I mean, I could have slept even on the grass, you know, at night because it was such an intense uh, experience. S small crew. Um, it's, it's so odd. I'm filming a series now, which is about luxury and fashion. And I'm back in my trailer, you know, in comfort and boredom. Yeah. And I long for the days of, you know, this uh, essential roughness singing to Gillespie songs. Um, it's, you know, the, the film is, you know, it's kind of ultimately about a man who's kind of searching for a new identity. And it struck me that, well, you as an actor get to have multiple identities, you know, often, you know. Hopefully. What, what, a, what a luxury compared to, you know, the rest of us who might have to go and buy a tractor. Well, tough luck. <laughs> You know, because it was very complicated to, um, no, I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, it's a choice. It's a choice of life, but it's a philosophical choice, which I, I, I made when I was an adolescent. I just thought being inside one uh, life mm. uh, wasn't enough. It was, a, a, um, I was obsessed by the notion that life was short, extremely short. And so I had to multiply uh, the lives in order to, fool myself that I was extending life. And so, um, and also as Betty Davis, De Betty Davis said, m most actors become actors because they don't like themselves. Sure. So you want to see a reflection, even a momentary reflection, uh, of yourself in a mirror that, that doesn't remind you of you. Um, so I push that, I push that as much as I, as I can. I also received a, a form of, of, of training in England that was particular. Uh, I went to a drama school that called the Drama Center that teaches the American method in which transformation is key, mm -hmm. which is not the French rule at all. You know, the French tend to keep on talking about themselves and being themselves. Sure. You know, if you think of the great French actors, you know, if you think of Depardieu or, or Catherine Deneuve, or, you know, they, they're very often themselves. Whereas I was trained in a different way and my models are more um, Anglo-Saxon. Actors from England or America are really obsessed by the transformation. But for me, it's a, it's a philosophical, it's, it's a practical trick to, to make life longer or almost eternal. So if you're a conquistador in the middle of the uh, jungle, as I was with Carlos Saura and El Dorado, you know, I also travel in time, but I can seriously travel in time. Mm. Um, you know, if I remove my glasses, then I don't see the camera anymore. I can see just, uh, you know, people in armors and Indians. And then I really believe that uh, it, it's, uh, it's magical that way. For me, for, for me, it's the only way to, to survive as a human being is to, is to just multiply the lives. And I don't need drugs for that. I can, I can be paid for it as well. As a result. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, look, you know, you've been in, uh, obviously this is a small uh, French project. You've been in enormous international projects. I kind of wondered as, you know, a, as, as an actor, you know, obviously we're, we're a result of our environments, you know, and, and I wondered if being on an enormous set, like, I don't know, Matrix Maybe. or something like that, right, with, which is effectively an enormous company that started and took over an enormous part of land and, you know, there's a thousand things going on, very different pressures. I wondered if that had a different almost cellular effect on, on an actor as opposed to being in a with a, with a small crew on a small project. I tell you, when you film at the end of the day, even if you're filming with an army behind the Wachowski sisters, or it just boils down to this, you know, it's only one camera, one actor and, and, and a director behind the camera and, uh, and the sound person and a lighting designer. And that's a, a lighting cameraman. And that is it. And then you see, 
in the background you see an army mm. maybe mm. but the activity is 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 the same and and nothing 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 changes it, it it's practicalities um the army uh, makes it but you know the army has to feed itself i mean the, the the bigger the army the the bigger the army that needs to take care of the army so it's just like an endless on american terms it's like an endless thing you know uh, supply lines that's what gets you in a war you know yeah i mean you know uh, canteens for the canteen people you know and this is like, <laughs> it becomes completely absurd um Thank God, the the activity, the action is the same, and the intimacy uh, can be the same. Mm. Uh, and the, the the rest is just, of course. What's different is uh, money gives you time. But you know what? Sometimes uh, in in big American films, it's very boring for actors because that extended time means you're not doing anything. You're you're waiting in your in, in your trailer. Uh, lack of time on small budget film, I find really exciting because mm. I hear you on the move all the time. Um, and, you know, it's better than being bored in a trailer. Um, so on Emily's film, Five Ikta, you know, uh, I, I was just there on all the time. Uh, there's, you know, no time to wait for, because you're, first of all, you're in the center of the story, but also because this, the, you know, she had so much to do in, 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 in so little time. Um, so at the beginning, I used to find that uh, the money that those m massive studio productions brought one was a possible chance for the directors. And I think that creatively, it can be crushing on the, uh, you know, it's just the exact opposite. And that the freedom comes from the lightness. Mm. You are not just on the jury, you are the president of the jury. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Subtle hint. <laughs> um, do you find it strange to judge art? Oh, yeah. You know, first, first of all, I find it difficult for my brain to to skip from one universe to the other. That's just like a, a on a psychiatrical level. Uh, level. It's just like oh, there's great empathy. We are uh, movie people. We we you know we look at films uh, with great intensity. It's not just you know sitting back and being entertained. You know, it's mm -hmm. just like we try and analyze. We travel with them. Uh, we are in their countries. Um, and and it's just for my brain uh, really really difficult. I'd like to see a maximum of two films a day, and we've had to see three almost every day. Um, we do not judge. We will discuss among ourselves with a great crew of uh, jury members. We have created an interesting family. When I say that, I really mean it. It's, it's, it's like a little family. Um, uh, the input of each person is really interesting. So uh, this is what we do. We discuss w what creates cinema um, or not, uh, what succeeds, what fails. And then basically I could tell you t tomorrow afternoon if uh, whether it's difficult to judge uh, because we'll have to come up with a, with a result and then maybe we'll, you know, we will destroy this nice little family and we'll all hate one another ever after. But um, um, what seems to be a relief is the fact that art and great art comes almost like a with an obviously there's no it's there's an evidence yeah. so you can you just receive it in a way suddenly it's this it's there and we all agree at the same time it's just like ah and so, does that tend to be something that is then quite hard to define it is always hard to define. I mean, people have tried to define it for generations. They try to define that about music. They try to define that about, it's like you know, dancing art. about architecture, right? <sighs> you know, um, we try, you know, we're like, you know, little insects going, dee, 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 this is cinema, this, 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 The good thing is when it works, when it is complete, uh, it seems to be touching, uh, the intellect and the, and the emotional center at the same time and, and even the body sometimes. And it's, a uh, um, and it's evident. Uh, so I think we're going to rely on that. And and uh, what's a little bit more frightening, but my co-jury members are very, very strong and mature, so they protect me from that insecurity, <laughs> is how people will react to our selection. You know, mm -hmm. because then you think, ah, oh my God, all the haters of the world are going to attack us, you know. Uh, 
but you know, I have strong adult people with me. Um, um, I'm the oldest, but they are much more mature than I am. And they, they protect me from that insecurity. Uh, it's launching a, 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 a choice in the universe, a, a reduction of a selection is, uh, as we know, you discuss that with everyone. It's a political gesture. You know, mm. you choose to underline what has been revealed by one sensitivity, uh, by a director. It's, a uh, uh, you put to the side, uh, other topics, um, that are in the air. Um, and there are many, uh, that people want to talk about many that they want us jury members to celebrate to 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 point out um the main and this is what emilie deleuze told me she was a member of, uh, of the jury she said to me i asked her what are the criteria just tell me just what what is the criteria and she said cinema is it cinema F above all does it make it are you are you forget about the issues sure is it great cinema so i'm happy because we we have agreed already on what we consider great cinema so far we have good well look that seems like a nice place to end thank you so much for your time thank you i wish it was like that all the time it was really interesting good <laughs> <laughs>